All right, guys, so to begin with, uh, we open the Xcode and uh, create new application. We are going to select iOS application, single view application, and click Next. I'm going to call this uh, Quick Chat. You can call it as you want. Uh, make sure the language is Swift and the device is uh, universal. Click Next. And I'm going to save it on my desktop. All right, so we have our standard application right now. And what we are going to do is close the application. And uh, we are going to set up first our CocoaPods. If you are new to CocoaPods and you don't have CocoaPods, uh, just go to CocoaPods.org. And here is the instruction how to get the CocoaPods, how to install it. Uh, as soon as you get the CocoaPods, uh, we are going to go to our terminal. In our terminal, we are going to say cd, which is change directory, and we are going to go to desktop, say. And uh, when you type the first uh, few letters of the word, if you click tab, it will autocomplete the uh, folder name, directory name, if there is such a directory. So we click enter. Now we make CD again, and we are going to change our directory to the project folder. So as you remember, we called it a quick chat. So let's say quick and tap the tab key and it auto completes for us. Right now we are in quick chat. Uh, in order to test what you have in the current folder, current directory, you can say LS and press enter and it, uh, it shows us uh, what is in our current directory. So we have quick chat, quick chat test, quick chat Xcode project. And in order to use the CocoaPods, uh, first we need to create a pod file. To create a pod file, uh, once we are in our project directory, we are going to say touch pod file. Click enter. And uh, let's go to our project directory. And as you can see here, we have a pod file file created for us. Double tap and it will open a text file. Here we are going to set what pods we want to be installed in our project. Uh, copy and paste these uh, three pods that we are going to use. Make sure these uh, brackets, uh, you put the straight ones. The best way to get this done is to copy and paste just to CocoaPods file uh, in order to not get any errors later on. Uh, we save the Coco this pod file and close it. Let's go back to our uh, terminal. If you have closed it, uh, just uh, make sure you re reopen the terminal. CD to desktop again then cd to our project directory, which is quick chat. And let's uh, call the ls again and see what files we have right now. So as you can see, we have a pod file. And in order to install the pods in our project, all we need to do is to say pod install. And CocoaPods will take care of the rest. It will download all the required files and it will create a new project for us. So let's wait for a few seconds until it finishes the downloading. All right, as you can see, it finished downloading and we can see what uh, what we have uh, from the CocoaPods right now. It's the Firebase, IDM Photo Browser, JSQ Messenger, Messenger and now we can close the terminal and in our quick uh, chat project directory as you can see we have two files now one is called quick chat xcode project and the other one is quick chat xcode workspace since we have installed the CocoaPods uh, from now on we have to open the application from the workspace only if we open the quick chat uh, our uh, downloaded pods will not work. So 
make sure that every time you open your project, you open it from uh, QuickChat.